Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire and today we have a defect run to do. Ascension level 20, max level, double bosses. So let us begin. Now, alright, we didn't make it to the first boss did we last time? I see where the super lead is, it's actually not a bad path, so let's just go. There's no point in thinking about it much. Huh. Wait a minute. This was changed. Was it changed? Didn't it used to be always two, 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 and then it upgraded to three, three, three? Okay, anyway, um, reprogram, no, probably better off with leap. I mean, I like reprogram, don't get me wrong, but it's not really a safe bet. Yeah, let's... Alright, this is our last free fight. I kind of don't want claws here. Oh, what are we gonna offer up? There you go. It's basically a free card removal, or a free heal, well, more or less free heal. All right, well, at least I have two orbs up and they're doing four damage with the defrag. I was, well, I'm still hoping that I don't actually take too much damage here. I uh, could have gotten rid of one of them. Because I definitely want to upgrade defrag. All right, let's go for you and you, splitting the damage up here, and they're gone. Huh, well... If I had picked up Reprogram, Rip and Tear would have been nice. But currently, no. Currently, we're upgrading the Defrag so we can do a little bit extra damage. Hello! Uh, probably gonna just straight up pick up Loop here. I mean, Bronze Scales would be amazing, but it's too late. I'm three short. Yeah, so, we're gonna pick up Loop here. Uh, in all likelihood, I'll end up finding the Gremlin Knob. Uh, but, I mean, that's just a fact. Or not! Alright. Let's see if I can actually get Electrodynamics here, or not, but... Hello, Echo Form. Now, they have extra HP due to them being super elite. So the first thing I do gets double cast, so definitely double casting this. In fact, I actually want to double cast Loop, so we're not going to play it yet. What I'm going to do here is double defend. These orbs are going to be able to take care of everything now. They do seven damage our turn each. All right, first thing gets double played. I just need to hold on a little bit longer. Just a little bit. I don't want to actually double attack here, I want to defend as much as possible. Because there was no way we were taking one of them down, they have way too much HP. But soon, soon. Alright, we definitely want to double play this. Now this orb hits a total of 3 times per turn, which is 21 damage per turn. <laughs> Believe it or not, sometimes I can do simple math. Uh, we definitely want to actually... Oh no, maybe not double double cast. Oh, oops. Well, hopefully this one goes away. No, the pain! Oh well. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> that hand was awesome. Molten Egg! Oh, I should have picked up that reprogram. I kind of want Static Discharge, to be honest. But against this boss fight, I think I'll take Self Repair for now and pick up Static Discharge later down the line. Mango is an amazing pickup here. And I definitely want to go for the shop over here, so that's where we're going to go. We are going to be upgrading here. Loop would have been a good upgrade, but dual cast for now. Uh, loop afterwards. If we have above 30 HP, definitely loop afterwards. So actually, here I'm not going to be dual casting. Eh, I'm going to be dual casting. I need another way to generate orbs, which is something we don't have. We just have the zap at the moment. And seriously, anything would be nice. Uh, definitely self-repair here, and you know what? Another zap. Uh, if I get dual cast, it's possible that... No, never mind. That's 10 damage, unless I get something out of this, and I'm not willing to use a focus potion on this enemy. He didn't steal that much gold. I mean, I had almost none. Why am I going to the shop again? Oh, I just realized. Why am I going to the shop? All right, definitely ball lightning here, even though I did want AoE. But we need an extra form of orb generation. Okay, I'm willing to do this. Turnip is great. Well, there's nothing I can pick up here. This would have been good. 
Especially because of Molten Egg, it's pre-upgraded, so... Uh, yeah, right, mind every, every attack is gonna be pre-upgraded. We're definitely playing this. And these two. Okay, they both chose not to attack. I'm very surprised. Okay. I was really hoping for a little bit more block here. Oh well. Uh, leap, defend, zap. Alright, we're still good. I think the 30-ish HP we're gonna have is going to be enough for this boss fight. Hopefully. Uh, second defect, absolutely. In fact, I think it is highly recommended that I upgrade it. Because that's gonna be a total of 6 focus as soon as I use this. And I will be using it immediately. The more damage we start doing early, the better. And there's more defrags, and absolutely these two, even though I do want to play loop, I think an extra 9... I guess loop is always an extra 9 damage. Uh, we do need to dual cast. Alright, next turn we are splitting, guaranteed. I was really hoping for an extra attack here. Oh well. That's fine. No Electro, so no AoE, but we are doing a decent amount of damage. Actually, a, a very decent amount of damage. <laughs> I'm glad that they're focusing. But on the wrong target. Alright, that one's gone. Uh, I am just gonna loop here. Because we're splitting next turn so we won't take any more damage. Actually, never mind. Okay, that was not bad. And in fact, Electrodynamics! Sozu. Well, I have br Liquid Bronze. Uh, I need Storm. I really need Storm. I mean, this can work without Storm. Absolutely true, but with Storm it just gives it that that huge boost I, I like. So we're gonna pick up Sozu here, I already have Liquid Bronze, we're just not gonna use it regardless of uh, the situation of course, unless I'm dying, but if I'm dying Liquid Bronze is not gonna save me, so... Yeah. Alright, that being said, I see a path with a triple rest, but it has a double elite, which is not something I want. I want upgrades. Oh no, it has a triple elite, okay, we're not definitely not doing it now. Okay, I see a path with a double rest, single elite. Yeah, okay, I think that's the best call. Right, well, this means we start over here, because it has more question marks, I like question marks. Ah, uh, we have Turnip. And in this fight, Turnip is actually really good. Right, this, uh, well, I don't have much of a choice, just play these, and I guess I'll play the Zap. It's an extra 10 damage. Ha! You couldn't make me frail now, could you? Let's actually play most of our attacks. Uh, that is exact damage. Lovely. Lovely. I actually ended up exiting with some HP there. Well, with the same amount of HP, I believe. We were on 69. Uh, don't need Necronomicon. Could use Anchoridian or Nilaris Codex. Actually, both wouldn't be bad. Is it worth the HP, though? Because our rest is over here and we have a lot of way to go. It's gonna be, what is it, like 19 HP? Now, let's see. Yeah, 21, sorry. Anchorian is actually the better option, in my opinion, because... I mean, let's face it, getting something like Echo Form could be amazing. Uh, I don't really need Mutagenic Strength, so I'm just going to transform the two strikes we have, see what we get. Streamline, which gets upgraded, of course, and Force Field, which I was planning on picking up regardless. So, you know what? Not bad. Uh, we... I would love this... If this event didn't change after Ascension, uh, whatever, I would probably do it here. But currently, only three apparitions? No. No. No buffer, nice. Defrag... Force fields. I mean, are we fully blocking here? Yeah, we're fully blocking. No point in dual casting, that's not gonna get past the shielding, so. Ha! You cannot make me frail! And I'm gonna triple defend here. Again, buffer is just a backup plan. Something happens, sure it's there, but I'd rather not. Okay, we're taking the damage here, so it means it's gonna go to the buffer. There's no point in blocking. Definitely this. 
gotta play these two. And I suppose we're dual casting zapping. Alright, lovely. Alright, well, you know what? This fight went really well. Uh, I have AoE in the forms of elect in the form of electrodynamics, not forms. There's no point in pluralizing it. Uh, so going here gives me really not much of an advantage. So uh, streamline doesn't really need to be here. Sorry. I guess if there's something else to remove, I mean zap. A streamline does have a use, but it's gonna be rare that I'll use that. I think it's more likely that I'll use zap. So just remove Streamline. And I think we're more or less done with- Oh, hello, they're both attacking. Uh, huh. I mean, what choice do I have? Uh, I don't need Ball Lightning here. Defending for five, I mean, yeah, it's still five, but I was just taking too much damage here. And let's go. Ah. This is always an issue when I'm running Electrodynamics, or the uncontrollable AoE. Uh, this is gonna happen. The thing is we actually don't have enough damage, and I really don't want to take this much. I think it's worth using Liquid Balance here. I think it really is. It's just that little bit of extra damage that's gonna help us out here. Claw, Cold Snap, or Charge Battery? None! We are mostly looking for powers. A uh, storm, to be a bit more precise. Storm. Oh, I do want it. Okay, so uh, I do want normally at least one of the keys on this floor, preferably the red one, because the red one is the one that's harder to get, at least in my opinion. Uh, but hopefully we'll be able to get it. But I doubt it. This, he's gonna attack next turn because I didn't even get one of these, uh, and he's gonna do a lot of damage. And I don't have Electro yet. That is 30 plus damage. 30 plus. Ugh. Hurts so bad. Loop, zap for the AoE. This means uh, that Gremlin is dead, but because we have Electrodynamics now played, things are gonna be a lot simpler. At least I hope. Wait, did Loop get upgraded? Hmm. Wait a minute. Pretty sure I didn't upgrade it. What happened? Did I get a loop? Probably did. Didn't notice from Mancaridian. Doesn't say what it gave me, so. One more turn and the leader is dead. I only regret that I took that first initial hit. Duvu doll, sure. Strength potion, which I can't take. Seek is normally always a good option and I will be taking it because getting something like Electro early is always a good thing. Uh, I'm gonna recall here, and we're gonna rest at the next stop. Oh no. Uh, this is probably the worst part of... Uh, I don't have enough defense, I think I'd rather have defense here. Actually, I should've just picked up defrag. Play the zap, and you know what? I'm playing. Sure, why not? This fight doesn't generally last long enough. If it does... Well, if it does, it's not a good thing. We're gonna rebound that, we're gonna play Electro for the extra lightning orbs. This needs to be played, this needs to be played. Yeah, strength potion which I can't take, I actually don't want Barrage. Well, we were at 45 in that fight, so you know what, not bad. Ah, very important. Loop, a free loop. I actually don't want to play Ball Lightning here. I mean, I want to, don't get me wrong, but I don't want to take the 6 damage. I'd rather take just the 1. Self-repair, defrag, into whatever defensive options I have. Bird is gone, Chosen is going to be on half-ish health. Okay, good, good, this came at the right turn. More or less fully defended. Alright, and the end. Nice, we actually gained HP on that. I uh, always go for the eyes, go for the eyes is just good. Especially upgraded. Mm. Another Hello World, huh? And this fight, and basically this fight again. 
Sure, you know what? I'm willing to play it. You never know. I mean, because this fight, I'm hoping it won't last very long, that Hello World might actually pay for itself. It looks like that's not an option here. I mean, it draws a card. Let's do it. Exactly what I wanted. Gets rid of the other bird. I know it's not a bird, but still. Uh, okay, that one's gone anyway. Mm, go for the eyes is not a bad idea here. And I can hologram back something like force field for the extra block on this turn, which I absolutely didn't need. I didn't actually notice I had block. I should have known I evoked a frost worm, but I definitely wouldn't do this here. Reinforced body. I mean, I want more ball lightning, but I need reinforced body. We are actually on 54 health, so I'm going to upgrade reinforced body here. Backup plans. Right, double loop into a self repair. That's nice. We got most of the stuff out. Don't touch that. We need that. Okay, Electro got played, which is very important. At this point, I have the AoE, so I can just straight up target with whatever limited attacks I have the Bronze Automaton. Seek is fine. I already got what I wanted, so you can take that. Ah, now that I need. Well, at least I didn't take a defrag. They're actually gone. Oh, sure, whatever, I'll play it. I mean, I don't have calipers or anything, but... Or ice cream. And we're good. Do I want to play anything with Seek? I guess not yet. I'll keep in the deck because you never know. On the Hyper Beam turn, it might show up. And I might be able to get Reinforced Spotty through it, so... It's something. We're actually not doing bad so long as I can survive this turn. It actually did show up on the Hyper Beam turn, but we already have Reinforced Body, so lovely. Not bad in terms of damage. We just need to survive a little bit longer. Just one more turn, right? Well, or a couple of extra attacks. Well, a dual cast should do. Right, boss number two defeated. Now, the only thing we're missing is one key. Uh, buffer here. We don't need a second Electrodynamics, and buffer is in general good. Uh, orb Inserter here. I want the extra energy, don't get me wrong. Extra energy is going to be amazing for us. But extra orb slots are more damage. It means more orb generation. This means I don't have to actually have to pick up Capacitor. Even though I was considering it, it is a power. But we don't have Storm yet, so I'd rather not pick it up. Now I see triple rest with double elite, which is not something I want. I actually would... I like the third floor without elites. But it looks like I don't have much of a choice. Actually, I, we can do a single with a late shot. Uh, no, it's still a double. It looks like I don't have a choice. Well, at the very least, can I have an early and a late shop somewhere? somewhere? Uh, yes, I can. All right. Of course, that'll nullify Maw Bank. Oh, this is... I am hoping for... Oh, great. This is where Buffer goes away. I'm hoping for Echo Form early in the uh, the next couple of boss fights. The next three boss fights, actually. Uh, didn't need to double play that, but whatever. It's fine. I actually should have played the uh, double played the uh, repair, the self repair. Uh, double play that, and they're gone. So. Skull Potion, which I can't pick up. Another Force Field. The reason I want a double shop is actually at this point, I'm not entirely sure if I mentioned it, I probably did. It's time to start removing defense. We actually have some really powerful uh, defensive options, so these are starting to get a little bit underwhelming. Uh, so I'll pick up the Force Field here. Oh, hello, Buffer. Well, I'll always take a free Buffer. Uh, I believe I can still play Force Field after this. No because I miscalculated. Well, there isn't much of a point in Reinforced Body here, but whatever. No point in dual casting a 3 orb. There's my defrags. Hello. Uh, do I need to seek anything? Probably. But not from here. 
Okay, this one we're definitely taking on the buffer. There's no point in using that one defend. Playing loop there for the extra damage, even though we shouldn't need it. Come on, just one defend, thank you. Uh, well, okay, I needed two, but whatever. Oh, right, they don't trigger before they... Oh, right, I forgot about that. At this point, we don't really need much. Oh, there's another defrag. Uh, actually, Pentagraph here is MVP because it'll allow us to heal in between the boss fights as we have two boss fights back to back with no healing. Probably should have picked up membership card before that. Mm, I'm not going to do the math, though. Well, I can't do the math. I'm too lazy. Mm, recycle wouldn't be bad, but it's not that big of a deal. All right. Well, let's continue on upwards. Find some potions, which we can't use, so we might as well skip it. Defrag, defrag, static, discharge. Uh, of course he opens up with a 30. Uh, okay, what can I seek through here? Well, I guess it's either the buffer and use that. Or I just reinforce body. Right, now we play the buffer. Now we have three orbs out now. Which is a decent amount of damage per turn. Why are you doing so much damage to me? Why do you not love me? I'm lovable. From time to time when I want to be. Uh, Electro... I actually should have dual cast it first, but you know what? That's fine. We have... some orb generation. Uh, definitely Ball Lightning before anything else. Actually, Force Field as well. I believe we have a second Force Field if we need it, so I can seek it here, but again, not needed. And we're dealing a decent amount of damage per turn. Eh, I could have dual cast, but eh, it's worthless. He's gone. What is he gonna do against so many orbs? I do want another one. Or, I don't have Chemical X, but still it's Tempest. I mean, at worst, it's a it's a zap. At worst, it's a zap. Problem is, I still have a zap. I'll pick up the defrag here. Now, we still need to pick up uh, the key from here, and I have to do it. There is no other option, so we're actually going to upgrade the defrag here. I Unupgraded defrag is just... makes me cry. Alright, let's see how our scaling does against the big giant head. I'm actually gonna go with another zap. Hmm. Well, I think we need one. Like, right now. Ah, shut a dual cast. The damage was worth it. Defrag, defrag. Too bad I couldn't get. Go for the eyes out earlier. Yeah, because of this turn. That's fine. We can get enough block here, I believe. Absolutely not. But I'm not going to use the buffer here. It's not worth it for two damage. Absolutely not worth it. All right, our scaling is not good. Wish I had a potion to avoid this combat, but I do not. Eh, well, we're still gonna defeat it, but at a big price. I mean, good thing go for the Isis here. At an enormous price in terms of HP, actually. No! Stop it. Don't you know I have feelings too? At least one turn we're not taking any damage. And now we're gonna get, yeah, exactly, buffer. Which guarantees we're not taking actually we're, we're not taking any more damage regardless this turn but still well still the right call not to use the buffer for two damage it is not worth it and data disc okay this is uh, something i actually wanted now uh i am going to actually rest here uh we're gonna go yeah we're not going for this because i don't care about the elite we're gonna go like so. So we're gonna rest here, and if I can upgrade in the last place, in the last rest, I, I will. Please be a bad relic. Okay, well that was a bad relic. Good. Hello, capacitor. 
Uh, still no storm though, which is uh, concerning. In fact, very concerning. Now, the problem with this enemy is that I actually don't have any physical attacks. Well, I have one, which won't go through a block, so. Uh, so that actually means that I need to generate as many orbs as quickly as possible because I definitely don't want the curse here and I don't want to have to remove it. The money is hopefully going to go to Storm Well, I do have two attacks, I guess. This, I don't want to actually use this one here, though. And I'm not going to. There's a loot. There's a <laughs> force field. It's my only blocking card. Oh, we're going to take nine here. Oh, disappointing. Really, calipers would have been so nice. Oh. We are generating a decent amount of block. I think the enemy is just gone. Yeah. At this point, we're doing way too much damage per turn. Oh, I want it, but I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It might help, but I shouldn't. Oh, do I pick it up? No, I don't. I stick with the plan. I stick with the plan. It's worked so far. Oh, boy. I probably should have played Heat Sinks first. Uh, okay. Well, it's the best we can do. One orb. Uh, defrag into Force Yield into Seeking. I really wanted Seek to be upgraded by now, but I won't. Uh, so we're seeking the other Force Field, which we don't have. So in that case, we're seeking Moon Force Body. That's 18. All right, we're good. Something will be buffered here. I really needed to play that, but whatever. Couldn't afford to take that much damage. All right, let's actually play Self Repair. Ball Lightning Zap, and sure, we'll dual cast even. Five block? I'm taking 30 damage per turn, but sure, five block is enough. Defrag into... Okay, thank you. Go for the eyes is actually coming at a good time. Uh, two block here is not enough, but I need damage. So I need to end this fight as quickly as possible. Or this fight will end me. That's for sure. Right. There was no point in blocking there, but still. Uh, heat sinks. We don't really need heat sinks. We need storm badly. Nope, we're not doing this. I was hoping for a heal there somehow. Hello. Well, seeing echo form here means we won't see it anytime soon. <laughs> That's the only thing I'm gonna say. Come on, Electro Early, come on, before the Exploder explodes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Didn't really need to double Electro there. That was a mistake, but it doesn't matter. The important one goes away, the rest will just go away next turn. Ah, self repair. Uh, I really wanted to get it to double play it. I guess we're double playing the Seek here. It doesn't really matter what else I get. Nope, don't hit that, don't hit that. <laughs> That would have been a mistake. Well, no storm. Please have storm. Uh, no storm. Might actually not be bad. Thing is, I actually kind of want a card to move. I think it's the better call the card to move. But orange pellets here might actually not be bad, considering I am playing all of these. Well, attacks are a little bit more on the rare side, but we are playing them. That being said, though, I think removing defense is the best call here. We So we're going to get a little bit of HP out of this. I really wanted to upgrade the buffer, but I think the buffer is worth upgrading over the max HP. This way, we're going to be close to max HP. Now, the Awakened one. I was expecting this. I mean, let's face it. It's the Awakened one, um, but we do need to play a couple of powers. There's no way around it. No. This we're going to seek out, I suppose it's either the buffer or the defrag, and we're going to play the defrags. Again, I was expecting this. Uh, 
it's a power build. Uh, we have double bosses, so it was to be expected. Oh boy. The thing we have go for the eyes here. A 15, really? Now we just need to survive. Not entirely sure how well that's going to happen. I do want to play more powers, but I can't. The problem is my deck is filled with powers, and we don't have Storm. This means our scaling is a little bit lower than his. We gain two, it gains two. Uh, no. I'm t no, I'm dead. We're dead. Uh, this is where we die. It's the Awakened. The Awakened one shouldn't have been the first fight. It's just brutal. Brutal. I can't get all my defrags out. Can't even get my buffers out. Yeah, we're dead. Barely alive, but... This is such a good run. That's 21, but I have to play the buffer here. Problem is, one of the hits is going to directly to the buffer. Hmm. Yep, we're dead. Disappointment. Went the wrong way. Yeah, indeed. I was supposed to go somewhere else. Not in this spire. It was the other one. We, we, we just took the wrong path. I was supposed to go left. I went right. It happens. My spire didn't have the awakened one. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.